Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, from Montego Bay, Jamaica. It's 20 minutes after 4 in Montgomery, and a much warmer morning in Montgomery this morning with a temperature of 41 degrees, as opposed to yesterday morning at this time when we had uh, 35 degrees, and the actual low in Montgomery was 30, but a nice afternoon recovery yesterday with 69 degrees. Now, warmer air on the way, but also some storm systems, and I said... I put an S on that storm systems because several impulses between now and Tuesday will come through, some stronger than others. It's not going to rain all weekend, and I'll tell you when the best rain chances will be, plus how much rain could fall, and will there be any severe weather? I have a few concerns later in the weekend. I'll get to that. Plus, yesterday I said that freeze we had yesterday morning is probably the last freeze of the season. Now, there's a few question marks about that, as you'll see on this video. Here we go. There's that storm system out to the west of us today, but I think most of the day we're warm and dry. Maybe a late-day shower or thunderstorm. Clouds will be increasing, temperatures in the 70s. But later in the day, showers and thunderstorms from Mississippi start migrating into Alabama. And by early evening, yeah, the showers and storms will be uh, around. So you have, you have evening plans tonight. There's an 8 p.m. snapshot. Uh, be aware that showers and thunderstorms could certainly affect your outdoor plans. No doubt about it. Storm Prediction Center has the risk of severe weather out to the west of us today, Mississippi, Louisiana, but just nicking parts of northwest Alabama. This is through 7 a.m. Saturday morning. We have our eyes on that. Clouds on the increase today. Slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm today, but a 50-50 chance across the area at least tonight. Today's high 74. Tonight's low 57. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And scattered showers and thunderstorms will be around from time to time tomorrow. It's not a washout, but there will be the threat. For instance, here's 6 o'clock in the morning. And you see some showers and thunderstorms here and there across the area on Saturday morning. And then as, later in the day, as the uh, heat of the day picks up, the showers and thunderstorms start to become more pronounced. So uh, from time to time, you'll need the umbrella. And Saturday evening, there'll still be some showers and thunderstorms around. I've got the rain chances at 50% on Saturday evening. And then uh, the, the risk of severe weather is not indicated for Alabama. They got Arklatex region and uh, maybe up in uh, the, to the Ohio Valley. But Saturday, Storm Prediction Center says no severe weather. Now, Sunday, we start out with a warm day. There's a slight chance of a shower. Much of the day is dry, but by Saturday, Sunday night, I'm a little bit worried about the, uh, the storm situation. Storms become stronger coming out of Mississippi, a very strong impulse across the area. In fact, Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk of severe weather, now covering much of central Alabama, and a stronger risk out to the west of us in Mississippi that could be expanded later. And in fact, I think there's a good chance it may be expanded. Monday morning looks like a stormy situation, so a wet start on Monday morning. And that's impulse number one, but there's another impulse back behind it uh, as far as this uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday situation. There's the frontal system on Monday night, another round of showers and thunderstorms, and there could even be some leftover showers on Tuesday with rainfall amounts one to two inches in central Alabama, maybe two, the, two inches or more up in north central Alabama. So if you look at the icons on this uh, graph here, it looks like it's going to rain every, all the time from now till Tuesday. But that's not true. There's going to be several dry periods, 50-50 chance Saturday, 80% chance Sunday night into Monday, and then maybe some leftover showers on Tuesday. I've got the rain chances at 60%. Temperatures are going to be warm, but look what happens. This is the European out 10 days. It shows the showers and storms Friday and Saturday, and then it, the big, the big uh, outbreak Sunday night into Monday into Tuesday. And then at much cooler air, and hang on, folks, could we go back to the 30s? Well, you know, uh, the European has us highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s midweek next week. And um, so we're watching that situation carefully. I said yesterday that uh, yesterday was probably the last freeze of the season. But look at this, the GFS indicating maybe some low 30s as we get into around Thursday or Friday of next week. Yeah, Alabama growers, we're going to have to watch this carefully. We thought we were at the last freeze, but maybe not. Our weather app keeps you on top of all these dramatic weather changes over the next few days with advanced interactive radar, push notifications for watches and warnings, and hourly forecasts. Get it on your phone or tablet today. It's free in the App Store. Just search Rich Thomas Weather. Great to have during a very active period of time. So that's it this morning. No video tomorrow because it's Saturday, but I will get up early in the morning and I will make you a weather blog, all right? First thing in the morning, we'll update you on this 
potential storm system over the weekend. Latest from the Storm Prediction Center, plus your forecast, whatever you want it, across the dial on eight radio stations. That's the Blue Water family of stations. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Uh, it'll rain from time to time, but it's not going to rain all weekend long. I'll keep you up to date, all right? From Montego Bay, Jamaica, have a great day. My name is Rich, and I'll see you later.